and welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host, Greg, and you are following me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle, one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It's the Mrs. Smith's Special Recipes Cinnabon Apple Crumb Pie. Contains one 37 ounce apple pie and one six ounce frosting packet. This thing is a monster. Look at the size of that. $7.99. It is, uh, let's see, what's the, uh, what's the fat content? One eighth of a pie, 350 uh, calories, 16 grams of fat, 340 milligrams of sodium. That's from one eighth of the pie. Uh, I don't think, like the turkey episode, that I'm going to be able to eat this whole thing. That's just going to literally kill me. The turkey one almost did. Uh, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to pop this in the oven for 60 minutes. And then it's going to take 20 minutes to cool. So what do you say we get this out of the box? We stick it on a tray. See how it looks. Okay, once again, I'm reviewing this Mrs. Smith's Cinnabon Apple Crumb Pie. As if apple pie wasn't enough, they had to... Just take it up to a whole nother level and add the cinnamon taste of Cinnabon, which in my opinion is probably the best thing. Well, maybe Annie Ann's too, but the best place in a local mall to just uh, stuff your face and gain about 10 pounds. Um, Cinnabon Apple Crumb Pie by Mrs. Smith's. I like Mrs. Smith's. I like Mrs. Smith's Apple Pie, and when it comes to apple pie, I love apple crumbs. I'm going to take this out. this out of the box. Now look at this. Foil tin, huge pie, and then this is the icing packet on top. Now, the directions. Place oven rack in center position, preheat oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which I've already done. Remove pie from box, unwrap, loosen crumbs with a fork. That's very important, and I'll explain why. And then center the frozen pie on a cookie sheet, place in preheated oven, do not remove pie from ritual pan. Bake 400 degrees, 55 to 60 minutes. Now, this is kind of a two-parter because, as I mentioned, there's this icing too, which I'm gonna drizzle over at the end of this pie baking process. I really can't wait. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you can hear my stomach growling, but when it comes to dessert, when it comes to pie, especially apple pie, I got mad, mad mojo for apple pie. So let's see how this uh, how this really represents. So I'm going to take this out of the pan. I mean, out of the plastic. A lot of crumbs here. This is the packet. This is the icing packet, which I'm going to thaw and spread over later. Just a piece of paper here, and then there is a plastic covering on top of that. Now, that's my fork. Got my trusty fork, and I'm going to loosen up some of this stuff. Now the reason why you loosen it up is if you have it in one piece and you bake it, it becomes flakier. You really want it crumblier. So I try to loosen it up like this. Kind of like the texture of a shoe fly ply. If you guys like, if you guys are down with the Pennsylvania Dutch, you understand shoe fly pie. Okay. That's basically it. Take it out of the box, put it in a pan, crumble up the top, and now we're sticking it in the oven. So uh, in 55 to 60 minutes, we'll take it out, we'll let it cool, we'll see how it smells first, and then uh, we'll see how it tastes. Okay, so the pie has been taken out of the oven. It was in there for 60 minutes, and I've let it cool for about 20 minutes. Now, if you recall, we had this little icing packet, the cinnamon style. Um, you cut a little hole in the top, and then you kind of use it to do little designs and stuff like that. Now, one thing I wanted to point out here is on the back it says, you may store the unused portion of frosting packet in your refrigerator for up to five days. Now, I got news for you. If you have an unused portion of frosting, I don't want you to be watching Freezer Burns ever again. I would be, um, that, that's just unacceptable. You better use that entire thing of frosting packet. That's one thing. 
So you don't need to store it in the refrigerator, dump the whole thing in. Now, how does it smell? It smells really, really good. It's, it smells like what you expect, the quality of Mrs. Smith, okay? Good apples, now, you know, we're gonna taste it and see how it tastes, but the smell, this is like uh, grandma's apple pie, but taking up a, lot, a, a notch with the Cinnabon cinnamon and the icing. Now, see if you can get this. I've already started to do some icing on there and I wanna show you what I did. You gotta have fun, folks, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have fun making cute little uh, designs or funny little words on top of your pie, you know, th that's what life's all about. So anyways, that's, that's my contribution to the pie world. Um, smells really good. The crumb topping is nicely browned. Um, it's like a butter crumb topping. The crust uh, looks very, um, not, not burnt, uh, but crisp on the outside. But that apple, oh man. Cinnamon, the, um, it's, it smells really sweet. I cannot wait to cut myself a piece get that in my belly and see how it tastes. So what do you say we cut one? We'll put it uh, on a plate. Now for the moment of truth, I've cut myself a piece. Now if you recall, I remember I said uh, this: the recommended servings is eight slices per pie. Um, so I am showing you roughly eighth of a slice per pie. First, I wanna uh, talk about a few things. One is, as I mentioned, I really like apple pie. If given the option between cake and pie, I go pie every time. Um, Mrs. Smith, she's where it's at when it comes to pies, and she's taking it up a notch with Cinnabon, okay? I, you know, I haven't tasted it yet, but based on the smell, I'm thinking we're talking Mrs. Smith's 2.0 right here. She is taking it to the 21st century with the partnership with Cinnabon. I think this is where the, uh, the future of pies is going. Okay, so I think it's really important for me to review this because, you know, a year from now, you guys could be like, of course, apple pie with Cinnabon. That's where it's at. Who, who wants regular apple pie? Okay, so first things first, when I cut this piece, big pieces of apple, cinnamon and crust, crumb topping again. Now, the color is a little redder than I had thought it would be. Um, so we'll see about that. Uh, maybe it's just a lot of cinnamon. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, as I was finishing off that icing, I stole a little, a little bite, and it's actually cream cheese frosting. So it's not just like regular icing type thing. I'm sorry, it's icing, not frosting. Not your, your typical, just generic uh, confectioner sugar and water icing. This is cream cheese icing. So just when you think you know, you're adding some more fat uh, to each bite, Mrs. Smith's, she represents, she puts in that cream cheese frosting, icing, sorry about that. So, first bite, Let's see how it tastes. Wow. Okay. That cinnamon is overpowering, but not in a bad way. It's great cinnamon taste, but way more cinnamon flavor than uh, you typically would have in an apple pie. Pieces of apple, really, really good. You know, I mean, granted, this is a frozen pie. You're not cooking them raw. You're already kind of pre-cooked, so um, the apples are a really nice consistency, not mushy. Mmm, really good. Crust, cooked all the way through. A little flaky on the bottom, again, crumbly on the top. The cream cheese icing really adds to the experience. This is a good pie. I gotta say, um, as you know, Mrs. Smith's huge props for me, for Mrs. Smith's, not only for, you know, basically representing frozen apple pies for my, my entire childhood. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. But taking it up a notch, right? Not sitting back and resting on her laurels. She decides she needs to go out into the marketplace, find a, a collaboration, collaborates with Cinnabon, I think this is I think this is really good. This is a special recipe by Mrs. Smith's. I would give this a four and a half stars. Mrs. Smith's 
Cinnabon apple crumb pie. Again, over $7, well worth it. That's, you know, a little bit under a buck a p uh, slice. I personally am gonna eat probably three of them. So I would say that's a good $3 dessert for me. Four and a half stars. This is Greg, another episode of Freezer Burns, and I will see you next time.